guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a flan. You're going to need one of these pans to make the flan. We're going to need six eggs, two, um, how do you call them, sweetened condensed milk, and the same, the, the same measurement that you're going to make this, you're going to need two of the same measurement of this, okay? This is milk. And then we're going to need a blender. We're going to need one cup of sugar that we're going to melt, and that's going to be our caramel that we're going to pour in this to make the base of the flan. And then you're going to need a pan with water in it, like right up to, right enough to like for this to fit in. It's going to be, we're going to put it on a double boiler when we make it, and it has to have, it can't touch the water. So that's what's going to be in it. I just have like a, what's it called? A cheesecake pan in here inside this big thing with double boiler that I'm later going to put in a double boiler. I'm going to put it like this, cover it, and that's how we're going to make our flan, okay? Right now, what I'm going to do is going to get the one cup of sugar and put it on the, on the heat so we can melt this into caramel. We're not going to move it or anything. We're just going to let it melt, okay? Okay, so here's my sugar. I have it in on medium heat around. It's kind of low, but medium low. And then we're just going to let it here until it turns into a caramel, okay? We're just going to move it like this, move it like that, and then it's slowly going to turn itself into caramel. You do not touch it with a spoon or it will clump up on you, okay? This is what the sugar is going to start to look like, and you just have to keep moving it around. I recommend using oven mitts because you won't burn your hands, but this is how you have to keep doing it until it comes into a caramel color, which is going to come in too soon. And you just have to keep moving it like that until it becomes a brownish caramel and then once it's done we're going to pour it into here okay once it starts to look like that you're very close to the point it's just going to get a little browner like maple syrup kind of when these balls start to disintegrate and you don't see any of those little lumps in there that's when you're going to be able to pour it okay i still have like a minute going okay okay so this is what it looks like it's done now i just have to pour it in here and get it into the mold okay you have to be using oven mitts because this will burn you if you're not okay okay once we get it all in there i'm going to put it down this is what it looked like practically what i did i just swirled it around with my oven mitts because it's very very hot very very hot you just have to keep it like this and we're going to later put it in our mold i'm going to carry it in our mold and it will start to crack because that's caramel. It's cold. It's going to touch cold, so it's going to start cracking, but that's okay. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to move on. This is where I put my two sweetened condensed milk, and then I pour the milk into the cans because we need two of the same. We're going to crack six of. We're going to put it all in the blender, and we're going to mix it up, and then we're just going to pour it straight into there once this is cool, okay? Okay, so here I put the six eggs, and I added one of the milks. And I just need to add the second milk. Just pour it in there. I'm going to be very, very close to the top, okay? Now all we're going to do is we're just going to pulse it. I'm going to cover it, and we're going to pulse it. And then once it's all evenly mixed out, we're going to pour it straight back into the thing and put it in the double boiler for around 60 minutes, and, and I'll show you when it's done, okay? This is how it's going to look like when it's done. You can still see some bubbles on the top from mixing it. Now we're just going to pour this straight into the thing that I told you when it's cold, okay? So we're just going to get our mixture. Um, I have it turned on, but this is completely cool. So you're going to start to hear it crack, but it's normal. And we're just going to pour it in. Okay. It's going to fill it up pretty much to the top. So once that's done, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lid on. And I'm going to leave it around for about 30 minutes under this heat. It could take up to 40 minutes, but it's all. And then once you, we're going to poke a fork in it and we're going to see it's like a cake perfectly. But it's smoother and softer, okay? Okay, so here it's covered with aluminum foil. And I'm just going to leave it like that for around 40 to 30 minutes. We're going to check on it and I'll show you when it's done that when it's ready you could tell it's ready because you'll see some of this brown stuff it's pretty dry in the top solid you can feel it bounce up but it's not liquidy you put the fork in and you'll feel that it's kind of hard and it'll come out completely clean so now what we're just going to do we're going to grab a big plate that we could put on top and flip it over like a cake but you have to use oven mitts so you don't burn your hands i'll show you when it's done 
So this is what it comes out looking like. It's still hot. I'm going to put it in for the refrigerator for the night or until it's cold enough to serve. You just cut it and it's really delicious, okay? And I'm just going to put it, I put it in this cake mold and I just cover it up. Once it's cold enough, put it in the freezer, not the freezer, the fridge for around two to three hours until it's cold enough to serve. Then you can serve it and that's it. Thank you.